Uh, my name is Nick Leonoff and I'm a glass maker. I'm originally from California. I'm based in Brooklyn, New York. Um, I moved to New York in 2011. I have a studio in Bushwick where I do my uh, finish work and my cold working, all my designing of my pieces and the creative process of carving my glass. That's done here in Brooklyn. Yeah, I began working with stained glass, working with Alan Masaoka, a stained glass artist in California. And that was my introduction to glass. When I went to business school, I didn't think that I was gonna become a glass blower by any means. But after graduating, I ended up coming back and helping market the stained glass work for Alan. And that's when I was exposed to the glass blowing. I was hooked. I don't have a formal art background and I did not go to art school but I've always been a maker and always loved to create things with my hands. When I first moved to New York and set my studio up in Brooklyn, um, unfortunately the, the public studio, Urban Glass, was renovating. That was where I was planning on blowing glass. And so my, my next uh, choice was for me to go to Corning, which is a studio that I had studied with before and they have a great facility. And so I started renting Corning's studio to create and blow my pieces. And so what I do is I, I, I schedule time in their studio, usually a week to two weeks where I block off time to go blow my pieces of glass, what I consider the blanks um, with the layers of color. Uh, so I will schedule with other assistants and people to work with because there's teamwork involved in creating the pieces. The glass blowing process is very intensive. It requires a dedicated um, amount of time where we're not taking breaks within the piece. It's really requiring pretty much 100% focus almost 100% of the time. So I started going to Corning, which is just a great resource for the glass community. There's a top-notch hot shop with great equipment, it's very well maintained, and it's a nice consistent studio to, to work out of. Maybe one last bag I can do for you. And, and this is where the pieces are blown, this is where they're shaped, this is where they're initially created, this is where they are, are born into life. I really enjoy the energy in the hot shop, the process of working with the molten material. It's very spontaneous. There's this intensity. You're working with this, you know, fluid material and it's this kind of highly coordinated dance and there's just timing and, and rhythm and, and there's a fluid nature of the process. And one of the techniques that I've focused on is the Swedish overlay, which is a process of combining two bubbles of glass together, turning one inside out over the other in a way to achieve layers of colored glass on the inside of the piece and on the outside. Every piece is a, is a new chance to learn something new about the glass and every piece is a new chance to experiment and try something new and discover something new and a chance to grow to the next level. I, f I feel like the cold working is where the pieces are, after they've been annealed and they come out of the ovens, I bring them to my studio and this is what we call cold working. And that's all the, the work that's done on the glass when it's back down at room temperature. And that includes uh, cutting the pieces with the saw, it includes grinding the bottoms of the pieces, that includes the creative process. One of the things that I love about the cold work is the definition that can be achieved in the material that is very difficult to achieve in the material when it's in the molten state. Some of my pieces I finish with different techniques where I'll blow them and then I will cut them open to be different shapes. Sometimes I use a cracking off or a, a hot popping technique where I score the glass and use a, a little micro torch to add heat to a specific score and that will over time heat up and cause the glass to crack. I can use that for actually forming some of my more open forms and, and bowl forms. That's one, one of the techniques I use to get the, the final form that I'm after. I think that through the cold working process, I'm able to make my work just a bit more distinguishable.
I start by doing sketches in my sketchbook. And then when I'm look, looking at a specific piece, I start sketching on the piece with generally like a Sharpie marker to roughly design a piece and see what it looks like actually on, the, on three dimension on a, a piece of glass. I've really been able to narrow and focus my artistic vision because I am able to make my marks on the piece and the way I interact. It's a very hands-on process, so I'm actually holding the piece against the wheel and I have control by the amount of pressure, how I rotate my hands, very direct in that mark. I mean, it's very controlled in that sense. And I, and I like that I have that control with this part of the process. The Continuum series is a little bit more of a fluid, contemporary design, capturing movement around the piece. The, there's one continuous line that's cut around the piece. And then the end of the line is then reconnected with the beginning of the line. And that's kind of the, this connection that causes the, the continuity and allows the energy to continue to flow in and around the piece. The energy that really comes through that piece is the light that comes from the outside and is sucked into the piece. It comes from the white outside through the, the cut and into the interior part of the piece where the black glass reflects the light back around and it dances like a, like a hologram of light. It's been very interesting just to explore the reflective properties within that. But after each cut, I then need to go back into that cut and smooth the cut. And many of the cuts on the pieces, it might look like one cut, but actually it's something that's been gone over maybe a dozen times and maybe with different wheels to bevel the edges and to remove any kind of chips that are there and to bring it back to a nice finish and to have the proper exposure and depth of the cut. One of my most recent craft shows was the Smithsonian Craft Show in uh, Washington, D.C. By, by showing my work and putting myself out in, into an audience and having people see the work, it, it's, it's nice to take a break from the studio to get out, to get some feedback, to get a little bit of a recognition, maybe a little bit of acknowledgement, and to get uh, re-energized and, and get inspired by the interest in, in the work and, and the conversations you might have with people that see your piece maybe in a, in a way you didn't expect them to see that. And many times I really enjoy the, the feedback that I get and the interactions with my, my client base and my customers and, and just the general public that, that may come by. There's so many people that have a, kind of a sophisticated view of, of the craft work that's being created and they've been coming to those kinds of shows and they're educated. And so it's, it's really nice to have appreciation from people that are genuinely interested and so many people just to be captivated by the work that we've created and taking the time to, to learn about your process and to, and to hear about your, your pieces. It's nice just to have that kind of interest and I think it's something as an artist that keeps us going um, to develop new pieces. I was, I was fortunate enough to be selected to win the Excellence in Glass Award at the Smithsonian Craft Show in 2013. It was a nice recognition among very many highly you know, skilled and talented creative makers and glass makers that I admire so much. So I, I feel humbled to be awarded uh, among many people that I look up to. You know, ha having that good audience within there, you know, there's definitely some good clients that um, are collectors that appreciate the work and want to have a piece for themselves. So having a chance to be there to connect and make, a, make some sales is, is, is really nice that other people uh, appreciate the work um, and, want, and want to take it home and admire it further. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a definitely a nice side of, of being in this industry. Um, it's, there's a lot of great people in it. I'm excited to continue to follow my passion and I, I look forward to my latest discoveries working with glass.